sometimes when we're talking about a hip shift, like moving in the side to side plane of motion, it's really helpful to start with a hip shift off a block in more of a bare position, which may have just more points of contact and provide more reference for you. So grabbing a yoga block, we're coming into an all fours position. My left knee is going to go on the yoga block. If I'm up on all fours, I'm gonna imagine my right knee kind of dropping in space and sitting back into this hip. Now I immediately might want to like hike and go side to side, add that little side bend, hike. And essentially what this means, they just don't have space in the backside to kind of fully lengthen and create that hip shift movement. So what you might want to do is just kind of hike, unhike, hike, unhike, just so you can kind of sense what it feels like to hike and then find that length through the backside. When you're in this position, you're just going to hang out and take some breaths. So one thing too, once you find that length, keep the chest up, our tendency might be to kind of crunch down. So keep everything nice and lifted without arching through the back or coming in this, this direction like an angry cat. So we're sitting back into the hip, breathing in an all fours position, inhale and exhale. Keep that length. You may find that it feels a little bit differently side to side, so you can go on the right and see how that feels. And this will translate when you come up to something like a lateral lunge and you're moving side to side and being able to transfer and keep that knee in, get that hip shift up side to side, but starting in that bare position might feel really good for you just so you have some more points of contact and can sense that hip hike in a different position and really control that. Sometimes also having a coach like me can be really helpful so we can help guide you and help you find some release in the backside to facilitate that movement.